There you go. Hi. We want to delete our premium channels. And upgrade our internet service. Sorry, bundling can't be altered. Okay. Thank you. Cable companies and Comcast in particular are at it trying to screw the American people again and they wonder why everybody is going to streaming service in particular underground streaming services we're going to talk about that in this video if you enjoy the content on my channel please click that subscribe button also click that notification bell so you're down every time we drop a new life games video also join me on my patreon if you have extra questions you need to get up with a brother I reply to people pretty quick on my Patreon and it's a way to support this channel. If you're doing the Cody streaming, streaming services in general, and you want to avoid some of the things that might happen with net neutrality, grab my IP Vanish. Link is in the description. Let's jump into this video. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all and everything, the sex is hell host, Mott Tyson, bringing you guys life, game, financial, and technology all in one. And we're talking about how Comcast is trying to screw you in the butt with an ugly stick that's rusty. But before we talk about it, me put on these plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up my craft, giving you a better inform youtube review and something better to look at if you like these glasses get yourself some free ones link is in the video description article was just written at gizmodo great great website if you've never been there i suggest you check it out listen to this comcast finds a new way to screw over customers by charging an unnecessary 90 dollar installation fee now ladies and gentlemen y'all know a lot of people have jumped on the cody live tv underground streaming service bandwagon because they've been getting fucked they've been getting treated filthy mcnasty and not because they wanted the filthy mcnasty they've just been getting screwed listen to this crap right here a report from ars Tecca found that the cable and internet service provider is more than happy to hit subscribers with an installation fee charged at 59.99 or 89.99 depending upon where you live even when a home has already been wired for Comcast service in the past and the customer is willing to set up on their own. What? God may love me. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of shit that happens when you have an industry that has enough money they can influence your governments to let them basically write all the rules of how things go in those states and in those, you know, in the in the government. Because if it wasn't for technology with the internet, you would be hamstrung to this shit. Let me read it some more. The installation fee is usually charged to the customer setting up a new Comcast service. In some cases, customers are offered the ability to select a self-install kit to set up service on their own, as well as provide their own router instead of paying Comcast $11 per month to rent one. Ladies and gentlemen, always buy your own router for internet services, because right now we're still kind of hamstrung to cable providers for internet. Get your own router and make sure you let them know that you're not paying for their shit. However, as ARS points out, customers can only avoid the installation fee in a limited number of instances. Those purchasing bundles that include TV and internet service don't get hit with the fee. And why are they doing that, ladies and gentlemen? because the technology for internet service keeps getting better and better. Google Fiber has five times the speed any cable provider can offer and they don't make you pay a contract. So if you're somewhere with Google Fiber, look that up. By doing this, it appears to be the case even in instances where customers purchase the same package as the previous occupant, which wouldn't require any sort of upgrades or modification to be done by Comcast, they're still having to pay the fee. I mean, let, I'm just, let me close my shit up. I mean, in essence, my channel is about all the things that can improve your life. It's just that the Cody and the streaming took off. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why. 
because people don't like being cornered. We all have differences in the things that we believe in in terms of how we vote, right? But the one thing I think we can generally all agree on is monopolies under a capitalistic system are wrong. Companies being in bed with the government are just wrong. They don't benefit the consumer. Capitalism is supposed to be a construct where competition allows the consumer to have better choice in the marketplace. And cable companies weren't cutting it. So people start going underground and going to streaming services. And when you keep doing this type of crazy stuff, you're only going to make it worse on yourself. Now, I've been dibbling dabbling, thinking about getting out of the underground streaming world because it's been difficult to find a, a, a variety of sponsors because YouTube has been cleaning up videos where people are telling you how to get these type of services. But when I see shit like this, it just infuriates me. It makes me almost want to go back to doing more of that. So you guys let me know in the comment sections below. Have you cut the cord? Are you using underground services or above ground services? And will you ever go back to cable? My answer is absolutely no. And I won't use any company that has these little tight monopolies and try to force feed you to give them your hard earned money. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Follow me, subscribe to me on Patreon if you enjoy the content I'm producing on this channel. YouTube has demonetized some of my videos and I've deleted some of them um, just because I might be taking my channel in a different direction I want to grow. And Patreon is a way that you can support this channel and also is a way where I get back to subscribers pretty quickly when you have questions and concerns. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.